take photographs of our neighborhood cranes and um, wander around the neighborhood taking pictures. And then what I do is I take a clear glass and put the photograph underneath the clear glass. And then I use glass powders to take the image from the photograph onto the glass. What I have here is a photograph that I want to use for my piece um, with a piece of clear glass over it. And I place the glass how I want it to appear. And I have a uh, glass powder in this container and I need to put a mask on because you don't want to breathe glass powder. Then I, I take my little tea strainer and sieve very carefully, pretty lightly, some powder over the areas that I want to copy. And then I'll pick one of my brushes, or two of my brushes, and use them to take away the powder that I don't want to use in the image. With the uh, sandhill cranes, I usually start with this black powder. Um, with other kinds of birds, I might use a different color to start. The black, when it's fused, it is actually a very soft black, so it doesn't look too dark because the cranes are mostly actually gray. Does require a lot of attention to detail, which I enjoy. Oh, this is what my first pass looks like, and I'll take away, continue to take away the powder I don't want. Sometimes I'll leave a little bit of powder just so that people can have some idea of the process that I'm doing. Leave a little trace. And usually then I will use a gray powder for my next pass. And I'm taking out the area that has the beautiful red patch of skin. So here I'm adding the a little bit of gray powder. Um, this is going to require some detailed work later on. And sometimes I'll actually be pushing the powder into the area where I know I want more of it. It's a pretty time-consuming process, but the end results are worthwhile. So actually you can barely see the gray at this point, but, but it's there. 
um, and it will contribute to to the picture as it comes. It's sort of like a photograph. You're slowly bringing it into photo into um, into focus. <laughs> 